Welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billum. It's early in the morning where I am. I'm a little tired. But uh, I decided it might be a good time to try to revive Demo Discourse. And I thought, you know, let's do a, a Let's Play style with it instead. Initial impressions and everything like that. And today, we are checking out Gigasword. This game is it's on Steam. It's a demo. You can check it out. You can play it now. And it's for a Kickstarter that's currently underway. I believe it ends uh, March... Is it March 3rd? Yes, March 3rd. And... The developers say that it is... It's looking to be a mix of... Shovel Knight's platforming, The Legend of Zelda's puzzles, And the Metroid-style progression... Of Axiom Verge and those sound like three great games to take inspiration from so these are going to be my initial impressions as we play uh, a bit more of a laid-back video let me know how you feel about it uh, let's get into this okay right into the action we have a jump no double jump Downward stab. That is a hefty sword. Okay. Got it. Oh, there we go. I the buttons are slightly backwards for me. I'm using an SN30 Pro to play this. It's been my controller of choice for most most of my retro gaming and indie gaming. But, unfortunately, a lot of things pick it up as an Xbox controller, so the button prompts don't show up properly. Okay, we've got a dodge roll. Can you dodge roll in the air? You cannot. That makes sense. I was just checking. Enemies only hurt you while they are attacking. Oh, okay. Okay, that felt satisfying. I like that... There's not quite a double jump, but your sword... Like, your sword stab into the ground. Kind of, like... It almost feels like it kind of gives you a little bit of a boost. Oh, okay, okay. Drop through, the, drop through the platforms. Got it. Stab sword in the ground. Climb up after it. Pick up sword. The controls are tight. It's very responsive. Not what I would say. Like, there's no, no float to it. It's so it's it's got that going for it. Um, yeah, I'm sure they probably wanted me to like just dodge around him. We're gonna do it this way. Alright. Take my sword. Okay. Small key. There's the Zelda influence. <laughs> Ooh, takes a second to pick up your sword. You don't really think about it until there's an enemy on the screen that you've got to deal with. Oh, okay. Little rain droplets. Nice. Digging the music, too. Oh, okay. Okay. Game saved. No, hold, on, hold on. There were upgrade options, right? Oh, okay, okay. Those options aren't available yet. Got it. Man, I hate to like draw the comparison, but like, <laughs> you know, FD sword swings, dodge rolls, and eventually like save shrines for upgrades and stuff. 
I think a lot of people are going to compare this to like a 2D Dark Souls. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you get that little, that little hop that pushes you forward. Also, it seems weird I'm not getting hit sometimes. Like, I'll, I'll take it, you know? But I feel like I should have been hit by these scorpions a couple times already. I haven't been. jump is so gimped when you have your sword. There we go. Gotcha. You can still climb ladders with it, though. Can you... Okay, no, you can't wall ledge with the sword. Alright, I accept that. That works. No. Uh -oh. Okay. Take a look, see. Oh, oh, you can just stab your sword and leave it wherever you want. Okay, that changes everything. All right, all right. key so I can open that door back there, but obviously we're going to progress and see what we can find. There's probably not much. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. I love when games have enemies that only hurt you when they're attacking, instead of just, you know, taking damage from touching stuff. Like, it's not like that makes a game bad to, like, have that kind of thing, but I just, I very much prefer not having to deal with, like, enemies hurting me just from rushing up against me. Okay. You can swim. Almost feel like I can make it out of that, but... That's okay, we've got a ladder. Yeah, this music very much gives me, like, Shovel Knight kind of feels. Wait a second, wait a second, hold on. I'm dumb. Let's do that. Grab our sword. Climb this ladder. Stab the sword. Okay, okay, alright. Yep. I was having a dumb moment. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. That still feels fun to do. Okay. Open the door. Kill the scorpion. Um. Guess I can't have those. Tell you what, I definitely get Shovel Knight vibes off of the soundtrack alone, like that. It has a very similar sound. <coughs> Excuse me. if you wanted to drop back through. Okay. So we've seen three different enemy types, I think, so far in this demo. Oh. Oh, that was... That was interesting. Okay, so... Let's do this again. I enjoy the, the puzzles so far, like, there's not been anything, like, you know, crazy 
complex or anything like that, but I'm I'm digging what they're doing here. Okay. Oh, maybe too far. Let's try this. There we go. All right. My sword. Jump over. Stab. It lifts it up. I probably have to go back around. There, there was another path, right? Yeah, here we go. Do not mind me, Mr. Scorpion. safe point. And that looks like a boss door if I've ever seen one. Can I upgrade my sword here? Ah, I still can. I wonder I wonder if that's actually something they have ready yet or not. Stippity step. Bosses! Well, maybe. Oh, you're new. You're new. Okay. I wasn't sure I was hurting him, but I was. It's all quiet. Hey, it's my sword. Okay, I'll stick with mine. So quiet now. Huh. Hidden walls. Yet again, that felt very shovel nighty. Lots of that stuff I can't use yet. Oh. It's the water drips. For some reason, I just thought it was like a slight background, like, not quite song, but just effect. Ooh, I can now check the map by pressing select. The monastery. No feathers. That's or sword, key door, sword door, one-way door, boss doors, right bumper. Oh, okay. Our upgrade stuffs. So looks like there's probably other items to collect. Hearts. I don't know what that crystal thing is. Um, okay, let's keep going. See, now these are quiet drops. I wonder if that's because the music's back in. I should stop doing that. Eh, another save point. Oh! We've got upgrades. We don't have any feathers. We're gonna click into it anyway. Okay. Alright. While at full health, your attack shoots a spark along the ground. Five hundred? Ooh, buddy. I am nowhere close to that. Alright, well, I guess... I guess we're just saving. 
That's a big sword. Kinda hoping I could like drop it or something. One might even say that this is uh, a Giga Sword. Yes, it was a bad joke. I understand that. Okay, so what do we have this way? Nothing I can do yet. Got it. I wonder if uh, Zelda influences means I'll get like items for dungeons, like specific use, like bombs to blow up walls and stuff like that. Not sure. We got new music. Crap, that guy's got a creepy face back there. Okay. That looks very similar to a grapple spot. Ah, there is a combo. I didn't really have a reason to use it before, but it exists. I have not fought one of you yet. Ah, okay. Ow. So I could make that. Please don't hurt me anymore. There we go. Do we progress? make it back up. That looks like, a uh, coming from, like, the other side, from the right side, and step on that platform, and it'll open that up. It's like a, a shortcut. Uh, yep, a shortcut. <laughs> I'm gonna stop making the Dark Souls comparisons. Wrong button. Ooh, health. Okay. I don't think I have any keys, but I bet you if I head over here, I'll find one. Ah, okay. Pushing block puzzles. Very Zelda. I approve. Key, please? Yep. And get you out of my way. Oh, I think you can hold it. Okay. Oh. Hey. Three hit kill. I wonder if there's going to be anything along the lines of, like, uh, a counter or parry system, you know, something. Ah, shortcut ladder. Shortcut ladder. That's interesting. But I can't do anything with it. So the key to these things is just to be aggressive. And that's a second shortcut ladder. That's handy. Ah, that's what 
you do? Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to get you. And a save point, cool. The wrong button to get you with. Uh, I still can't do anything in the way of upgrades or anything like that, so I guess we're just saving. Man, it takes a little bit to get stuff, but... It feels weird to reach a point in the game where I'm allowed to upgrade my weapons, but I just... I just can't because I don't have the supplies to. Ah, okay. Shortcut ladder again. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that shortcut ladders are always this design. It's just my guess. One-way door. Ugh, do I really want to go back to that? Not yet. I want to check out this area first. Okay. Missed. That's what I mean about, like, sometimes I feel like I should be getting hit and I'm not. Mistakes were made. Okay. So far, I'm really digging this. I'm not usually, a. Uh... Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, the block. Yep, we'll go get the block. Alright, this'll work. Wait, hold on. I need my sword to move the block. Right? Yep. Oh, hold on. Shortcut ladder. Okay. Alright. I see how this works now. I'm not usually a Kickstarter guy. Um, I've had bad experiences in the past kickstarting things uh, and just not not having good results afterwards. Uh, one of them, I didn't even get the product I kickstarted. Uh, they just the guy kind of just guy, I should say. The, the company that was doing the Kickstarter just ran with the money. So. Yeah, now to be fair, this one is, um, it's one of the fixed style ones, so they have to reach their goal. I think they're at like 17 grand right now out of the 40 that they're seeking. But yeah, I've, I'm very, like, hesitant on Kickstarter stuff. Obviously there's been a lot of good games that have come from it. Um, I mean, I have Bloodstained. Unfortunately, I have the Switch version, and it's still never been quite patched up enough as much as I would like. Um, I enjoyed, and I know this is kind of like a hot take, but I really like my number 9. Um, I understand it has problems on some of the consoles it was released on, and there was maybe just a little, little too much ambition on uh, Keiji and Ibune's part, but... I still really enjoyed the game. I know it gets a lot of hate anymore, but I liked it. So, like, I know good things come from Kickstarter. I know that. I'm just always so hesitant after being burned a couple times. Have we been this way yet? We have. That's a save room down there, right? So I guess we could drop down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Save real fast. Still don't have enough for an upgrade. Yeah, it feels like I get that there's only so many upgrades and for the length of the game like the way they're doing it the developers i mean are probably like weighing those out so you'll spend more time unlocking them and maybe it'll feel like a more powerful upgrade after the effect like after the fact but like to have been playing for so long with an upgrade option and to not be able to upgrade yet it just it feels off you know 
Like, I feel like I should have at least been able to get my, my first upgrade so I could feel like, you know, oh, this is what I'm going for. Because right now I don't even have, like, is it worth grinding for an upgrade, you know? Like, will it be worth it in the end? You know, I'm, I'm sure it will be, but you, you get what I mean. It's... Take, it, the fact it's taking a little while to get there is kind of odd. Especially for just, like, a first upgrade. But maybe those upgrades will completely change how the game plays, like, what kind of puzzles you can do and stuff like that, and that would give it a more, like, Metroid-style influence. Maybe that's the Axie Verge progression they're talking about. No fall damage, evidently. I think so. Nope, okay. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go check out this way. Jump. Can't reach it. Hello. What? Do you reset it? Is that what you do? So... Should I have... Did I make a mistake? Did I mention I'm tired? I have a six month old. He's uh he was doing really well and sleeping through the night and I was starting to have more energy. And now he's sleep regressed a bit. So now he's back to waking up like every two hours. So I'm not getting as much sleep at night, and my wife definitely isn't getting as much sleep. I do have coffee, but that doesn't fix everything. So I'm just, I'm just going to blame that on that. Just a little tired. Slice and dice. Stabity stab. These things have a surprisingly... Like, yeah, surprisingly long reach. Another stab. the library. That is something I would like to see fixed. The fact that some of these little orbs here, like, will pop in between the, like, pop out of the level so you can't grab them. And considering how much it takes to upgrade and how much of a, a grind it feels like there is, I'd really like to not lose out on orbs that way. Okay, that's from the other way. That feels really good. Like, I know I've mentioned it already, but that that sword stab into the ground, killing an enemy, it feels nice. You're just aggressive with you. There's nothing up here. Oh no, there there is. It just Well, hmm. It's funny that it doesn't actually show this as like a door or Huh. I wonder if that's just because it's like an area you're not supposed to get to yet because this is just a demo. Right? Stippity stab. 
It's a hot owl. Not a normal owl. Dang. Okay. Alright. Give me that back. Uh... Hmm. Okay. a little dumb. The dodge roll feels nice too. The iframes and everything like that. It feels good. Like, it goes into that thing I've already kind of mentioned where, like, the game's like that right there. The game's very forgiving, and I don't know, like, obviously that'll probably stop being the case a little later on, some tougher enemies and everything like that, but it's very forgiving with you not getting hit by attacks that you would think you would get hit by, and like, I don't need this to be some, like, brutally hard game, like, it doesn't have to be that. But I'm more of just noting, like, hey, this is how it feels. Wait, no, I can make the jump. Jeez, okay. Alright. I know some people complain about simple block puzzles like that. And, you know, like, oh, what purpose does it serve? It's, it's not really a puzzle. And, like, in one regard, you know, they're right. But... I've always kind of felt like they help break up the gameplay, so I'm I'm a fan of them as long as they're not overused. Plus, there's always like there's there's something nice to it because like if you've grown up playing Zelda games or like you know any kind of like little puzzle game like that, you know you see it and you know what to do and it's familiar. And that familiarity is a nice feeling. Oh. Cannot do that. Bring those back up. I do like that the sword is essential to, like, all of the things you do. It's a nice little gimmick they got going on here. Especially because, like, the whole dropping your sword so you can do better platforming, so you can jump higher and all that. It's nice. I like it. And there's one key. Oh, jeez, I am doing horrible. Yes, heal me, please. Gosh, that went badly. Can I get more heals? Yes. That was just me being bad. Like, that, that wasn't even, like, a hard thing. That was just me being bad. Another save point. Thank you. Game saved. or I can go back and go down. Let's go back and go down. Oh, 
I messed up. Don't attack midair. Not unless they're like directly below you, because it's a fool it's a stab, it's not anything else. Yeah, considering there are no pressure plates, I'm just going to guess that they put these, like, the blocks that look like they work with pressure plates in front of doors that, like, they don't want you to go through because it's the demo. That's my guess. I want to know what Offering Feathers does. Like, I don't expect to find enough feathers. I wonder if it's, like, a health increase or something along those lines. I don't know. Oh, okay. You look fun. Ah, he even dodges backwards. Emerald Feather. Okay, I know I don't have to fight you, but I want to. Alright, I got one hit in before you. kills him. Hey, 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 hey. Guess what? We're going back. Because we have enough for an upgrade now. Also, let's see if we can offer a feather. You do not yet have enough feathers to offer forth. Okay. Probably takes... I think there's five... Like, you can do five. That's what it said. Well, at full health, your attack shoots a spark along the ground. Give me that upgrade. Alright, what are our other options? The spark now travels up walls. Not available in demo. That sounds neat. Hold up and press Y to unleash a vertical bolt of lightning. Cost ore to cast. I don't think we haven't even run into ore yet. And yet again, not available in demo. Your aerial attack creates a shockwave when you land. Not available in demo. But, yet again, I like that idea. Yeah, these seem like good upgrades. Little ways to like, enhance the combat. Okay. Save that. Let's see our shiny new attack. Okay, alright. Sorry about that. Had a cough and I didn't want to, like, kill your guys' ears. So we don't need to fight him. We can just progress this way when I press the right button. We've got a cube puzzle. I was actually right. I wasn't sure. Come here, you. <laughs> Other small key. Hey, that's two. I can do that one uh, area now. Shortcut. Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's our night friend. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Wrong button. Yeah, again, it's it's that SM30 Pro. Sometimes it messes with me, the buttons, when they don't switch. And I'm usually pretty good about it. 
Not today. Okay. Let's just right along here. So it does one far. Wonder they're close. Noted. If this can open this up. Stab the sword. Well, actually, should I do that yet? Let's open both the gates up first. Raise the platform. Gosh, I hope there's never an instance where these are timed. <laughs> Raise the platform. See that sword door up there? Do not grab the ledge, that's not what I wanted you to do. You know, it occurs to me that and I'm sure this will change, like, when the game actually comes out, but I have no idea what the story or setting or any of this is outside of just what I'm experiencing playing it. And that's, that, and that's fine, yet again. Like like I said, it's, it's a Kickstarter, I get it, it's still in early development. It just kind of crossed my mind. I was like, I don't really know anything about that. Take some cue from uh, Axiom Verge for your story. You'll be sitting pretty, because man, I love Axiom Verge. I haven't played the second one yet. I've been meaning to, but just I haven't got around to it. Let's go get my sword. Oh. Hold on. Let's put my sword back. Actually, hold on a second. I'm dumb. Here we go. We'll do this. We'll come up here. We'll move that over. We'll go back down. I got this. Try to do the fall like off of ladders, and you just you easily regrab it. Okay, give me my sword back. see an area all the way back near the beginning, but that, that doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. Maybe I messed this up. We 
because if I could... Well, no, even if I open this, it's not like it would make me able to get through there. This is probably really simple, and I'm just being dumb. drop it down that hole instead of taking it. Is there a way to do that? Yeah. Why am I... Hold on. Hold on. I might have gone around about this puzzle like the complete wrong way. In fact, I, I bet I did. I bet I just... Completely didn't do it right. Had the wrong idea for like what it was supposed to be. Alright. Alright. Ah, let me fall. There we go. Okay. Now, we lift it up, we come back down, we grab our sword, climb back up, and we're gonna push it right down that hole, and that should open all the doors. Oh, okay. Alright. Right? Right? Perfect. Okay. Yep, that was just me being slightly dumb. An emerald chest? You got the emerald gemstone. This gem slots into the Giga Sword and allows you to open emerald doors. Okay. I gotta admit, um, this demo is actually lasting a good bit longer than I expected it to. I suppose they really have to sell you on the game being Kickstarter and everything like that. Okay, so we just had a wealth of doors. Uh, three. That's a wealth open up to us. So let's go see what we can do now. Interesting. Fine. I just have this feeling that eventually gonna be like something where you have to like raise it up there and get it in time. I don't know, we wanted to save. 
Very nice little animations they've got going on here, though. All looks very snazzy. Boss fight room. Is this a real boss fight? Um, it sure looks like a real boss fight. Alright. I'm gonna die. Okay. Slowing the execution. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got magic. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, why did you drop your sword? That was stupid. And that's dumb. That's me being dumb. Okay. All right. He's got shockwaves, just like I've got shockwaves. He hurts. Come on, cast magic, and then I'll come smack you. Ooh, you don't take much damage. I thought I was going to dodge that. Alright. I messed up. Okay. Alright, I think we got this. That didn't seem too bad. It says Sloan, and it just makes me think of, uh... <sighs> the Aragon... books. Um, wasn't his uncle named Sloan, I think? I think. Alright, so there's a chest. Is that my lost stuff? It is. How weird that they don't, like, mention Dark Souls whatsoever. Actually, does my... Oh, wow. Really? That is much more generous. Like... Yeah, that is much more generous than I expected for my thing to hit that. I uh, dodged wrong. And again. And again, look at me being, like, absolute trash right now. Yep, 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 yep. It's not even a hard pattern, I'm just impatient. I thought I had him in a good, like, rhythm where I could just keep attacking him. Yeah, it's so weird that they don't mention, like, all of the Souls-like features, because, like... Souls games are, like, you know, pretty, pretty popular right now. So, to not mention... That kind of thing seems... Odd. Ow. Okay, well, we're not gonna cheese you this time. I might have messed this up already. <laughs> this is not the run. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got distracted by the chest because it wasn't opening as fast as I thought it would. Alright. Alright. Try this again. Come here, Sloan. Not that I should even care about the chest because I can't do any more upgrades, but I just... It would feel wrong not to recollect my stuff. Wait, is that the ore? Actually, that that one attack mentioned that I could use ore? Maybe 
who that is. Alright, I told myself I wasn't going to cheese you, because that would feel wrong. So we're not going to. Ow. Alright, stop that. Ow. Ah. Stop being impatient. I can't. I can't help it. I'm impatient. <coughs> We're not gonna cheese him, though. Obviously I could, but I really don't want to just use that sword wave to kill him. It just wouldn't feel right. Oh, it is ore. It says it right there. I just haven't been noticing because boss fight. Felt like he kind of got stuck in a weird pattern there. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? Ah, uh, oh, okay, I had to stand on him to do it. That was... That was fun. I like that. I like that's got a little finisher to stab the boss and kill him. There was some weird red, like, tentacle-looking thing coming out of him. That was neat. Thank you for playing. It's on Kickstarter... I've poured my heart and soul into this project, so if you enjoyed your time with it, please consider donating to the campaign. You can also follow me on social media to stay updated. Hybrid Games on Twitter, Hybrid Plays on YouTube, Love, Jack. Oh, so this... It sounds like it's a single dev game. I wasn't aware of that. Um, so, I mean, you guys watched the gameplay. Uh, initial impressions, just based off this demo, I like. I like what's happening here. Um, the combat feels snappy and responsive, even with that, like, slow sword swing. You get used to it, and, like, you plan around it. So, yet again, it's, it's a little bit methodical with how you have to go about doing things, and you've got to know your own, like, you've got to know how your attacks are going to hit, when they're going to hit, if you're safe to attack. The dodge roll feels nice, you know, the invincibility during it. It might be a little bit too forgiving, with enemies not hitting you with the iframes and, like, after-attack invincibility, it felt like. But that's not a major complaint. I like the art style. I like how progression feels. It feels a little slow at first, but I did get my ability and then get to the first boss. And if I wanted to, I could have completely cheesed that boss with that ability. So maybe it's best to not have you unlock abilities at a faster rate. Like I said, it feels a little off, and maybe that... Maybe that sword next to the boss room should be the first time that you get the opportunity to upgrade your sword, because then you would have enough souls by then. Um, I'm still interested to see what feathers do, since, you know, obviously it's a it's a demo and you didn't get to try it all out. I'm, I'm really leaning, leaning towards feathers being like a health upgrade or something like that. But, uh, the, the Shovel Knight inspirations are clear, the Zelda inspirations are clear, the Axiom Verge inspirations I can... I mean, I, I, I can see where it's coming from. Um, it makes me more think of Symphony of the Night at the moment. 
which yet again, you know, all Metroidvanias are kind of similar in that regard. Um, but no, this is this is definitely looking to be a solid game. I'm excited to see what they do with it. I hope it gets funded. Um, I'll go ahead and include a link in the description. I'll pop one up in the corner, and I'll put one in the description below. You guys can click that and check that out if it seems like something you're interested in. Um, I actually have some decently high hopes for this. It seems like a fun game. And with that said, thank you all for watching. And that was loud. Thank you all for watching, and take it easy.